Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready to go. So your energies, guys. Nine of Wands, King of Swords. Your person's energies, King of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Meeting Energies, Queen of Pentacles, The Fool, The Focus, Justice, and The Six of Swords, bottom of the deck. Leaving behind rough waters. Kind of makes sense considering the Nine of Wands. Well, talk about rough waters. Uh, seven of Swords. Um, a scenario that may have not been exactly fair for some of you guys dealing with a person that uh, in the past maybe was not ideal for you. But you are moving forward towards scenarios that can be uh, more auspicious for you, more in alignment with your wishes and desires going with the six of swords general meaning this is a very quiet energy we are trying to uh, get going without making a fuss about anything which can be even positive uh, to be honest it can be the right and fair thing to do the nine of wands for some of you guys is an energy about um, the bravery that uh, comes to play when we need to power through the challenges and the adversities uh, we know that the wounded warrior has found a way to persevere and to endure through difficult times he has learned quite a lot about himself and about the journey uh, the interactions that can take place in our everyday life the defenses are up for protection kind of makes sense considering the leaving behind of a seven of sword dish type of situation at the same time you have leveled up towards a king of swords mentality which can pay off because it is about being straightforward and able to pay the proper attention to all the factors that can play some type of a role around you the king of swords can do that can take notice of all the details involved in a situation so that it can make the best out of it it can convey precise messages no space for misunderstandings he is very intelligent very clever smart so he can truly find a way to bounce back even from a previous disappointment and it is kind of encouraging to see in um, your person's side of the energies that this individual can be the one that um, you can recognize as a fair companion, as I usually say, because they have um, a royal figure involved, the King of Cups, so the two of you can match. You can interact quite easily with this person they have a level of maturity that is uh, better compared with the one seven of sword dish uh, driven maybe um, of the previous partner and we know that the king of cups has mastered everything about his emotional side his feelings uh, the love arena for me sometimes he can struggle a little bit with the communication part uh, because feelings are so deep under the surface that quite an effort is necessary in order to bring them up so that they can be shared uh, properly and of course understood by a special person this can be about a person that is a little bit um, private when it comes to um, their emotions they do not uh, show off for example 
um, maybe a little bit of time is due in order for them to understand that they can open up uh, comfortably. And the Tree of Pentacles is an energy about effort. Um, it's a lovely one because there is openness in the Tree of Pentacles. Uh, working together, of course, this can be a connection that maybe for some of you takes place uh, because of work. There is the willingness to learn in the Tree of Pentacles so that we can discover things that uh, we didn't know before. And this can pay off because maybe we have new opportunities to set solid foundations in favor of the connections that uh, we may have the chance to establish. So this is, this is a mature person, you may like them because of that. And in the meeting of the energies, guys, we have a lovely Queen of Pentacles touch to the flow, um, huge deal of understanding. If this energy speaks to some of you, there is a balance between a masculine power, the King of Swords, and the feminine one of the Queen of Pentacles, uh, nurturing and caring, taking care of yourself first and foremost as a healing process because the queen has mastered the self-love ability and that's why she is open to uh, share it with those around her but she will understand um, what are the persons deserving to receive this gift because the ace of pentacles of the queen is a gift and she can be perceived as a source of advices, words of encouragement, even support. And that's why this energy can speak also to this King of Cups. There is quite a lot of balance, to be honest, in this flow of energies. The justice adds a further accent in favor of this interaction. It can be positive because uh, it can allow the two of you guys to uh, get to know each other better and better. And if there is already some type of a connection, uh, because, um, for example, you are colleagues, you know each other for uh, whatever type of interaction uh, that is uh, already started in the past, the fool can come to play easily. This is the leap of faith in favor of a brand new cycle, a brand new beginning. The lovely thing is about the fact that the fool is willing to travel light, releasing the burdens, rough waters in the Six of Swords, the uh, overwhelming emotions that a wounded warrior may have gone through, and the not exactly reliable Seven of Swordish energies. The fool is ready to go all out on an adventure. He cannot wait to discover what the journey has to offer in his favor so that he can be better and better. He can learn new things. This can be quite a connection because there is so much maturity that the two of you can truly learn something new. It can be even a new way to enjoy uh, a connection so that the proper trust can be established and then things can develop in a healthy, balanced and fair way, lovely, the justice in the focus. This is a fair and fair exchange for me, so positive. There is the Ace of Swords involved with the Justice card because the Justice Lady for me can swing it kinda in a Queen of Swords fashion, so truth and clarity, uh, respect, fairness, um, loyalty even. If this energy is channeled by this person with great ease, you may like it quite a lot. This is a brand new connection, guys, for some of you that may have left behind a challenging cycle, maybe a previous um, connection, a little bit... Uh, a little bit overwhelming, not exactly a source of satisfaction, but this can be a new chance, uh, quite promising. So, let's pull some oracle cards for guidance, considering these energies. Let's see what we can discover. Three cards, here we go. So, message in a bottle, uh, an energy of communication, super clear with the King of Swords. Uh, it is positive. It is positive because the interaction is productive. 
thanks to the Tree of Pentacles. Milk and honey, satisfaction. The baby elephant is enjoying the moment at the fullest potential. This can be even a reward, a sense of relief. Uh, the wounded warrior is looking for that. After all, he has found a way to power through the challenges and now uh, he would love to embrace a um, peaceful moment or a peaceful connection. To be fair, lovely confirmation about the justice. This is a fair chance with a fair person, someone that can vibe um, at the same level of frequencies that uh, you can display, guys. Bri, bottom of the deck. Uh, taking a moment to evaluate things so that you can realize that um, this interaction is meaningful. And maybe you can discover that you are looking for the same things moving forward, embracing a new chapter. Let's see from the activation. Four cards, here we go. Health, I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Quite an encouragement, especially compared to the uh, challenged energy of the uh, Nine of Wands. This can be a healthy connection. Friendship, for some of you, maybe this is a friend, someone that you can trust. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason, and maybe from a friendship, something more can develop. Purpose, I know what I am here to do. Uh, clarity, recognizing that something uh, not meant to be was due to be left in the past and something new, something positive comes along and balance, which is the justice after all. I bring a, a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Fairness, respect, these are the words that are coming to my mind. This can be a connection that can leave uh, those of you guys that can resonate with these energies satisfied and this is a big encouragement about what comes next the fool can embrace the leap of faith with great confidence it's a promising chance so guys i hope that i made myself clear and this was helpful let us know if you resonate comment like share subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you the best guys take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye